Regarded as a timeless figure in the entertainment world, Jack Lemmon showcased remarkable talent and adaptability throughout his career. His seamless shifts between humor and drama held the audience's fascination for decades. The actor's unforgettable portrayals and relatable characters firmly established him as a beloved Hollywood personality. Fond memories often harken back to his roles in well-known films like Some Like It Hot and The Apartment, which still connect with viewers globally. Share your personal experiences or cherished moments related to this classic actor in the comments below. Stay tuned for more intriguing facts, some funny, others shocking, and a few poignant about this legendary figure. Keep watching for additional insights. In the world of movies, there are some actors whose performances truly stand out. One such actor starred in several unforgettable films that have left a lasting impact on cinema. He played a musician who disguises himself as a woman to escape danger in one movie, and in another, he portrays a man who gets caught up in unexpected situations because of his generosity. He also shines as a neurotic character who moves in with his messy friend after their marriage's end. Another notable role sees him as a struggling real estate salesman. For those looking to discover his work, these films provide an excellent starting point to appreciate his talent and versatility in bringing various characters to life. His influence on the film industry continues to be felt by audiences worldwide. In a Simpsons episode, he revealed his acting skills by convincing Marge to start a pretzel business. His character from Glengarry Glen Ross had a big impact, inspiring the memorable Simpsons character Gil. Interestingly, he decided not to take the lead role in The Hustler, a choice that shaped his career. In Mr. Roberts, he played in Sin Pulver with Finesse. Director John Ford encouraged spontaneity and knowing Henry Fonda. This collaboration allowed him to bring his charm to the character, leaving a lasting impression on the film. His role showcased not just his acting skills, but also his ability to make smart career choices. From the whimsical world of The Simpsons to the intense drama of Glengarry Glen Ross, he showed adaptability as an actor. Looking back, these stories give a peek into the varied career of a talented person who, in Mr. Roberts and more, brought characters to life with charm and skill. The impact of his work on the entertainment industry endures, making him a celebrated figure in film history. In the world of movies, some actors really leave a strong impression with the characters they play. One actor stands out for bringing to life many memorable roles in famous movies. He delivered lines that became really well known. People in the movie industry loved his performances, and he had great friendships with other actors, especially one close friend. He was really good at playing different types of characters, whether serious or funny. People loved watching him because he was so believable in every role he took on. One of his best collaborations was with his close friend. They worked together so well that their performances felt like magic on screen. Their friendship was so strong that it lasted even when they weren't acting together. Thinking about this actor's life and career, you can see how important friendships and working relationships were to him. His work with his friend inspired him to do his best and tell great stories through their movies. Even though he's not around anymore, his movies still mean a lot to people, and other actors today look up to him for inspiration. In a memorable scene from a classic movie, a character carries a turtle around her house, while a framed photo of Marilyn Monroe from another film catches the eye. This connection, perhaps a nod to a famous role in that movie, adds depth to the moment. Before his acting career soared, the person went through the challenges of the Navy during World War I. This experience surely shaped them, teaching discipline and resilience that later helped in their acting journey. In 1958, a significant decision arose when they were offered a lead role on Broadway but hesitated and declined. The heavy focus on the female character didn't align with their artistic vision then. The role went to another actor, marking a turning point in their careers. Such stories offer insights into the complexity of their life and work. They show the choices, influences, and opportunities that built their reputation as one of Hollywood's most beloved actors. Through their roles, they entertained audiences and left a lasting impact on cinema, a significance that endures today. Amidst the bright lights of show business, one individual shone brightly, earning recognition from Emerson College in Boston for outstanding achievements in the communicative arts. The Connor Award, bestowed by the fraternity Phi Alpha Tau, honored Jack Lemmon for his exceptional talents. His journey in the entertainment industry led to remarkable friendships, including one with James Cagney. Their bond blossomed during the filming of Mr. Roberts, where he showcased his skillful portrayal of a left-handed character. Despite being right-handed, his dedication to the role even fooled his wife at the time. 
This initial encounter sparked a lasting friendship between Lemon and Cagney, enduring until Cagney's passing in 1986. In another notable film, Some Like It Hot, he played Jerry alongside Tony Curtis. Curtis, who had been undergoing analysis sessions, needed encouragement to embrace his role, and Lemon, always supportive, played a pivotal role in coaxing him out of his dressing room, exemplifying their camaraderie both on and off screen. In a classic film about marital mishaps, a well-known actor played the role of Stanley Ford alongside another familiar face. The two had previously collaborated in a 1962 film centered around the struggles of addiction. Later on, in a movie called The Player, this versatile actor took on a unique role himself. The film boasted an ensemble cast featuring 12 actors and actresses who had all won the prestigious Oscar, including names like Cher, James Coburn, and Susan Sarandon. The movie also featured a brief appearance by Sidney Pollack, a renowned producer and director. In total, 15 other actors received Oscar nominations for their performances. Fast forward to another project titled Avanti, where our actor portrayed Wendell Armbruster. Junior, this film not only earned him a Golden Globe Award, but also received five Golden Globe nominations in various categories. Surprisingly, despite the acclaim, the movie did not secure any Academy Award nominations. In summary, this actor's journey through these films showcases a diverse range of roles and experiences in the world of cinema. The recognition and accolades received along the way reflect the impact and versatility of his performances. In the world of entertainment, notable connections often weave through the lives of actors and actresses. Take, for example, a particular actor who received an Academy Award in 1956 for Best Performance by a Supporting Actor. The presenter, an actress who had once been replaced in a Broadway cast years prior, had an intriguing link to another famous actor. This actress, having won an Oscar herself, shared a connection with Marlon Brando, whose sister stepped in for her on Broadway. Later on, this actor was considered for a role in a film in 1980, which eventually went to another talented actor. In another notable film appearance, he played a character named Paul Finnegan. This movie had an ensemble cast that included several Oscar winners and nominees adding prestige to the lineup. These moments in the actor's career showcase a path marked by recognition and connections with well-known figures, cementing his status as a significant presence in the film industry. In a standout scene from The Fortune Cookie, Jack Lemmon showcases his talent as Harry Hinkle, captivating audiences with a wheelchair ballet titled You'd Be So Nice to Come Home To. The impressive 3 14-minute performance was flawlessly captured in a single take. Not just a skilled actor, Lemon had a soft spot for classic cinema. In an AFI poll, he revealed that his favorite among British classics was The Magic Box. The connection between Lemon and his son Chris extended beyond the screen. Chris penned a play delving into their relationship, performed in the voice of his father. This poignant production, featuring many of Jack's Hollywood friends, took center stage at St. James Theatre, London, from June 1st to June 18th, 2016. In these instances, his artistic prowess, personal preferences, and familial ties provide a glimpse into the various facets of his life and career. In the world of cinema, actors often have unique rituals to get into character. One actor, known for his role as George in the famous film, had a particular routine that caught the attention of his co-stars. Before each scene, he would vigorously rub his hands together, exclaiming, Magic time! Magic time! This ritual aimed to focus his adrenaline, leaving an impression on those around him. During the filming of a movie set in Italy, one of the actresses reminisced about her time on set. Despite her character's need to maintain weight, she indulged in the country's delicious food. The director made sure she had three substantial meals a day, often ending with a bowl of ice cream. She fondly recalled these moments spent dining with the director, his wife, and her co-star. Overall, the behind-the-scenes anecdotes shed light on the camaraderie and unique quirks that make filming memorable. It's these personal touches that often enrich the final product on screen. He once had a Baskin Robbins ice cream flavor named after him. It was still being produced in the early 1980s, but has since been discontinued. And Mr. Roberts, he portrayed in Sin Pulver. Interestingly, both Henry Fonda and he served in the Navy during World War II, holding the same ranks as their on-screen characters upon discharge. In Avanti, he played Wendell Armbruster, Jr. alongside Juliet Mills. Their nude scene marked the first of its kind in any Billy Wilder film. Mills praised his support during the scene, stating he acted funny to ease her nerves. Lemon's versatility shines through his diverse roles and memorable performances, making him a respected figure in the film industry. 
In the world of movies, there's a star who really left a lasting impression. You might not recognize the name, but you've probably seen him on the big screen. In one famous movie called Some Like It Hot, he wore some amazing outfits that won awards. Even though the movie was in black and white, his role dressed as a woman is still remembered today. In another film called Days of Wine and Roses, his character inspired a famous song by Bill Withers called Ain't No Sunshine. Withers said that watching this movie really influenced how he wrote his music. That's why this actor's performances still matter so much today, not just in movies, but even in music. Acknowledged as one of the all-time great actors by Premiere Magazine, he left a lasting impact on Hollywood, carving his name into the history of movies. Besides being an excellent actor, he showcased his various talents in college as a proud member of the Harvard Hasty Pudding Club. The catchy tune from his biggest hit, The Odd Couple, sounded a lot like the music from How to Murder Your Wife. His ability to smoothly switch between the big screen and the theater stage showed a rare talent in the entertainment world. Whether holding audiences spellbound with his on-screen charm or captivating theater audiences with his stage presence, he showed a unique set of skills that made him stand out. His contributions to the entertainment industry went beyond his time, ensuring that his impact would last for generations. In the rich history of Hollywood, his name is part of its greatness, a proof of his lasting influence. A shining figure whose impact reached beyond acting, he left a memorable legacy that continues to inspire people worldwide. In the grand history of Hollywood, he stands as a crucial figure, his legacy a proof of the enduring power of talent and charm. A true master of his craft, his journey from Harvard to the glitz of Tinseltown is a story that captivates and motivates. In Mr. Roberts, he portrayed in Sin Pulver, sharing the screen with Henry Fonda, who previously appeared in Twelve Angry Men. Interestingly, he also tackled the role of Juror 8 in the TV remake of Twelve Angry Men. Moving on to the front page, he played Hilde Johnson in this collaboration with Walter Matthau, marking the third of their nine films together. Notably, his portrayal of Jared Afton in Some Like It Hot earned acclaim, securing the 65th spot on Premiere Magazine's 100 Greatest Performances of All Time. This versatile actor's ability to seamlessly slip into diverse roles solidified his place in cinematic history. In a series of classic films, a talented actor played memorable roles alongside a frequent co-star. Interestingly, when a sequel was released, none of the original actors returned to their previous characters. Instead, another actor took on a different role. In one particular film, the actor portrayed a character named C.C. Baxter. Later, he revealed some intriguing insights into the director's unique approach on set. This approach helped the team work efficiently, saving time and money during filming. Another notable role was as William Bill Gridley, where a special appearance by the actor's father added a personal touch to the movie. These details offer a glimpse into the actor's versatile performances and his experiences with renowned directors. Such behind-the-scenes stories enrich our understanding of filmmaking and the collaborative efforts involved. In Some Like It Hot, he played Jerry. Jack Lemmon shared an anecdote during an interview with Michael Parkinson. He mentioned that Marilyn Monroe nailed a scene in one take where Sugar Cane joins Jerry in bed on the sleeper train. In Mr. Roberts, he portrayed in Sin Pulver. John Ford borrowed him from Columbia for the role. In Avanti, he starred as Wendell Armbruster. Junior, the film was shot in various locations. Some scenes were filmed on the island of Ischia, including at a church in Forio and around the port. However, most exteriors were shot in Sorrento and on Capri. Interiors were filmed at Safa Palatino Studios in Rome after location shooting in 1972. In the movie Avanti, he played Wendell Armbruster Jr., showing his talent and ability on the big screen. In a surprising turn, his usual makeup artist Harry Ray also acted in the film. This was a big deal for both of them, marking a new step in their careers. Later, in Airport 77, his son, Chris Lemon, acted alongside him, creating a memorable father-son dynamic for the audience to enjoy. It was a proud moment for both of them, sharing their acting skills together. And who can forget his role in The Great Race as Professor Fate? It was a role that showed his great comedic timing and dramatic skills, making him a Hollywood legend. He often teamed up with Tony Curtis, appearing together in Some Like It Hot and The Great Race. Their chemistry was strong, making their performances together unforgettable. Both actors also acted with the talented Verna Lissy, playing her husband in different movies. With him as her husband in How to Murder Your Wife, and with Curtis as her husband and Not With My Wife, you don't. Lissy's chemistry with both actors added depth to their films. 
To sum up, Jack Lemmon had a big impact on cinema with his diverse roles, leaving a lasting impression on audiences. His talent and influence will be remembered for a long time. In a string of Hollywood hits, he teamed up with Walter Matthau, starting a partnership that defined movies for years. Their teamwork spanned 12 films, making them one of cinema's most memorable duos. He even tried his hand at directing with Koch, proving he was more than just an actor. In The Great Race, he played Professor Fate, bringing his wit and charm to the role. Despite challenges on set, he remained dedicated to his craft, showing true professionalism. As in Sin Pulver and Mr. Roberts, he worked under Mervyn Leroy, who aimed to mimic John Ford's style. This showcased his versatility and impact on film. These roles highlighted his talent and influence on cinema, leaving a lasting impression on audiences. His legacy lives on in classic films, a reminder of his timeless charisma. In the realm of Hollywood tales, a certain actor found himself caught in the whirlwind of unexpected events during the filming of a particular movie. The arrival of a co-star's spouse on set, precisely when a revealing scene was being shot, led to a comical chase around the expansive MGM lot. The actor sought refuge in a dumpster until security intervened, turning the day into a chaotic yet humorous escapade. Such unplanned incidents became a recurring theme in the actor's dynamic career, injecting an element of unpredictability into the world of cinema. In another cinematic venture, the actor's commitment to slapstick comedy shone brightly, especially in scenes shared with the talented Peter Falk. Their on-screen chemistry created memorable moments, with the actor's flair for physical comedy taking center stage and leaving audiences in fits of laughter. It was in films like these that the actor's versatility and willingness to explore different genres solidified a reputation as a dynamic force in the entertainment industry. Transitioning to a different project, casting decisions became a point of contention. The producer had one actor in mind, while the studio insisted on the aforementioned individual. As fate would have it, the chosen actor went on to secure an Oscar, blazing a path that emphasized the impact of choices in the unpredictable world of showbiz. Reflecting on the actor's journey in the film industry, it mirrors the unpredictable nature of the characters portrayed on screen. From dumpster hideouts to comedic pursuits with Peter Falk and transformative casting decisions, the actor's unique experiences have left an enduring impression on Hollywood history. In the world of movies, some actors really leave a lasting impression with their unique styles and skills. Imagine an actor who, while filming an important scene, insisted on saying his lines in a particular way. This led to a quick discussion among the directors. It showed not only how dedicated he was to his job, but also how well he understood the character he was playing. This bold move, coming from a deep connection with the role, added a surprising twist to the scene, making a strong impact on the audience and his fellow actors. In another memorable moment from his long career, he worked alongside a legendary actor. They had to rehearse multiple times because they couldn't stop laughing during the shoot. The fun they had on set created an exciting energy that translated well on screen, winning the hearts of viewers everywhere. It showcased his talent to effortlessly switch between different moods and genres. Despite facing challenges and teasing during his childhood, this actor rose above it all, becoming a respected figure in the film industry. His journey was full of hard work and a strong love for telling stories, earning him praise and love from both colleagues and fans. His knack for bringing diverse characters to life, along with his charming personality, made him a beloved and influential figure in the movie world. Looking back, the career of this fantastic actor shows us how talent, dedication, and overcoming obstacles can lead to success. His influence on the film world still inspires aspiring actors and filmmakers to do their best.